<clears throat> Hi guys, Captain Off here. Hope you enjoy. We're gonna play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Hope you enjoy. This is my upgrade of Luke Skywalker Commando. How much I upgrade him. And upgraded all of his skills to 5 and 4, and before that to 3, and such. And I wasted a lot of credits, but it was worth it. It was really worth it, man. And I made him to purple. Yay! I actually leveled them up to uh, six here. Ooh. And not this final one. Everything the force binds us. But I really like his looks. And he's like, badass. This is Luke Skywalker for me, damn it. Though, I can understand that Luke became a bit, you know, bad after, yeah, you know, The Last Jedi. But the thing is, I would never expect a character like this. To do that thing from that movie, that scene with the green milk. But um, it was an interesting scene, nonetheless. But it was like random expected. But also, it's it makes sense. He needs to survive somehow. And I actually got the explanation for the big giant spear from the movie in from a novel book that I actually listened to in my phone. On my phone, actually. And this is about the new Revan character, basically the giant paywall character. But luckily I have Commander Luke, which was the first character of the events. And I'm really glad that I have him. And now he's in purple gear. And stronger than ever. And I wasted a lot of credits. And I leveled up his unique and his leadership ability. Yay! Hope you enjoy the video. Now we're gonna go into the game. Anyway, I will do a video on F stands for Family, which is a Netflix comedy animated series set in the. I think it's set during the 80s or something. I'm not sure right now, but uh, I'm gonna get my stuff for today thank you very much thank you very much thank you thank you and this is yeah so the ribbon thing has not shown up right now we have the ray event still but i cannot do that one so you know what we're gonna do some battles hmm you know i can try with that and then we are gonna... You know what? I'm gonna make a new team here. Sorry. Rewrite this one. Make a new team. Hmm. Luke. <clears throat> oh. I can just write it in. Um, hero. Yeah, that. And... Then this, that's good. And eh, whatever, that should be fine. Now we put in our characters that I want. So, and I'm really proud of the classic Princess Leia because she did a fine job at the event. And I was lucky, really lucky to actually unlock the character himself. Because I was like, please let me get this character, damn it, I'm trying to do it. It's kind of, yeah, sorry. It's because I've been in Spain, I think, three or four times, and I tried to get him during that time, and that pissed me off so much. But finally I've got him, so that's good. You know what? We could upgrade his final ones, why not? We begin with his leadership. Of course. Oh, his unique is also activated. Then I should actually farm this. So I forgot to do that. Ah, you win, you lose. But for the most part, you win. So let me see that's farmed. All right. Hmm. His basic or his universal? Hmm. You know what? We're going to take this one. Bind the force. And then we're going to take this one. 
Then we're gonna take this one. And this one. Ultimate power! Not bad, not bad. So, we have our character. Now we put in our fighters. So he works best with Jedi and Resistance. So definitely Kanan Jarrus. Ezra Bridger. Hmm. Yeah, why not Sabine? I like her. Um, my clone sergeant. And my other healer. Yeah, why not? Fight. Hope you enjoyed the video. Fool. Uh-oh. Not good. You want to be tough, huh, fool? Accept your face in. Uh-oh. That was my clone. Rest in peace, clone. Ah! Ooh, 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 ooh. Not good, not good, not good, not good. This is gonna do good. Protect our healer. At all costs. Huh. No! No! What the hell? Heal Luke Skywalker. Good. Oh. Yikes. Come on, son. Come on. Ah, crap. You win, you lose. You win, you lose, my good friends. Hmm. Okay, get some more of these. I need those. I really need these. I don't have a lot of those. Ah. Uh, yeah, I need to get those so I can, you know. You know what? We do this. Can I fight in this one with Luke? Nope. Whoop, whoop. And I need to level up this character here. For the Revan event. At least I will try. But most players will not get him in time. And I can accept that. And this is really frustrating. Because I actually spended some resources to fix my bounty hunters. Which is Boba Fett and you know. And that pissed me off. Because at least I got some two shards at least. But or two stages. It was good but. This is the bad thing, is that they're putting both events after next to each other, or next to each other. So the only people that have the chance is the whales, and I, for the most part, you know, play free to play. Secondly, hope you enjoyed the video, but uh, secondly, even those people are not going to have the chance to get Revan in time, and that's going to be worse for them, because they waste a lot of money, and... Yeah. I wonder how the salary situation is gonna be like when one of the guys is like, yeah, I wasted my money, and then he's like, oh shit, how am I gonna pay the rent? That's his reaction. That's like, that's basically my reaction. Like, um, I will be like, oh shit. Definitely take Grievous shards. Definitely. they He doesn't show up so often. And take his ones, of course, of course. And of course, take this one. Good, good, good. Very good, yeah. Take Rex too. Then take that. Good. Oh, also hers. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. I'm just grabbing everything from the store. <laughs> but you know, this game is pretty good for the most part. You can get most of the characters if you want. If you have time and dedication, you farm and farm and farm. And these are the new shards you get. Oh my god! Yes, please!
Where has these characters been? Oh god. That's too much diamonds. Are you kidding me? And that doesn't even... Oh, you bastards. That doesn't even fill up the meter. So it's not even a point to get it. Oh, son of a gun. Oh, God, no. Okay, you know what? We're gonna get that Jedi character. Where is she? Okay. Old, old, old Republic. Thank you very much. And that's my computer sounding every time. So we're gonna lower it down. Good, good. And there she is. Thank you. Give me those shots. Thank you very much. So she is kind of easy build farmable. Thank you. Seven pieces. Good, 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 good. And maybe not. One more then. Nah, at least I got something. So. Hmm. Okay, I need to farm for this piece. Come on. Yes. Oh, I got four pieces of those. That's good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. And I need it for a lot of characters. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Definitely need this. Really want to do that. Really want to do that. This character is really good, guys. It's really good. So I'm going to try to farm her as well. Crap. I don't have energy left. Oh, God. Boo. Ah, you win, you lose. So, you know what? We can do some naval battles today. Hmm. So I can do this instead, you know? Why not? Do some ships. Okay. You know what? I want to go in the Clone Wars mood today. So, we're going to put in clones. First, rebels, of course. I hope Anakin gets his ship in this game. Rex, clones, good, good, very good, yeah. And... Yeah, to be fair, if you know why you get my rebel ships, for example, the, the Phoenix Squad ships, you can farm them at the fleet shipment. They come very unrare sometimes, but farm them when you get the chance. I repeat, farm them when you get the chance, because these ships are good. Good, 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 and good. Also, I farmed them when I did the event for the Rebels from the Phoenix Squad, of course. So, we're gonna try this. Why not? Put it on auto. Perfectly thinking, General Akbar. Perfectly, perfect, perfect. Destroy that imposter, thank you very much. That imposter must go down. Also, I'm gonna continue with Fallout 3. And about Fallout 76. I'm a bit like, I'm gonna buy definitely the game, but... I'm definitely gonna be like, you know, I've heard about the thing with the perk cards. That... Basically, you cannot, when you have set on a card, you cannot switch them. So you need to look in the cards first, from what I've heard on YouTube. That you need to look on the cards and then decide it. Because you cannot switch your, what should we say, special stats? Your cards you can switch out. Sorry. You can switch out your cards. Sorry for the misinformation, but um, you can switch out your cards, but not your perk points. Hopefully, I hope Bethesda actually puts in something so we can do that. Because, just imagine, you have focused on certain on a certain character build, and then, whoop-de-doo. Uh, for example, if I think, like, I get a cool card, or if they introduce a, uh, maybe, Tomahawk card or something. You know, some form of cool card, and then I decide to grab it. But then I, uh, then I remember that, for example, that I played a machine gun build, and... Now I took a card that's pretty much useless to the character's build. It's just an example, but the thing is... Maybe they can do a Tomahawk card. Hmm. 
But anyway, my character in Fallout 76 is gonna be... I am gonna be called Captain Alfred and... Um, or CM. And my character is gonna have... Uh, you know... I like the samurai guy from Fallout 3, from what I heard, or... To be fair, I like samurais. That's cool. Kinda cool also, but... I also like... I've seen many cowboy movies, so I like the Indians from those movies too. And I also like, you know... I also like, you know... What was it again? I have a Lego figure that is an Indian little figure. Or native. Native. I'm sorry. I don't, um... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, but... But anyway, my character's uh, heritage is gonna be Japanese and Native American, I think. And if I upset someone, I am sorry if I upset someone by saying those things before. But I wanted to do my character build around two different people, we could say. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video of Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. So, my character in my game is going to focus on machine guns, power armor, a bit. And I think my character is going to wield a tomahawk, as I think about. Ooh, this planet, Coruscant. Didn't see this planet coming. But anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Have fun, time, and enjoy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Captain Malfoy presents Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes for now. And my dad is a bit sick, for now. And I'm gonna end the video pretty soon, hope you enjoy. Okay Vader, do you wanna be tough? I can play tough. Time to call in my backup. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, but my character style is going to be machine gun, maybe, you know what, I like vats. I'm always going to like vats, because vats help, actually. And for the most part, I actually am good at shooting without vats, but not super good. So I'm definitely going to take the perk focus fire, definitely going to take the bubble head perk, and... Uh, not bobblehead perk, perk card. I'm gonna t take ba basically the bobblehead perk and the bobblehead... Um, whatever, you know what I mean, cards. But uh, I'm gonna take the other one that's gonna explore stuff so you can collect magazines and stuff so you can hear them better and find them in the world from what I heard on Fallout 76. And I'm gonna get that one. I'm gonna definitely get lockpick in the beginning, because if you don't get lockpick, you're screwed. Also, in the beginning of the game, from what I've seen of the Greenbrier footage, you have a lot of pipe weapons. So I guess the pipe weapons perk, or perk card, repair better your pipe weapons, is gonna be a definite option in the beginning. And then maybe I'm gonna replace that card later. Or just have it and actually maybe give some to some teammates if I get some teammates in online on online in this game. But for the most part of the beginning of the game I'm gonna play alone and then join a group to just get a bonus and boost up myself a bit. But it could be fun to play with other people. Secondly, also in some other videos or when I was alone at my home at one time when I was playing Fallout 3, I was thinking, you know, it would be fun if you could play with friends. And that's what this game is. So it's not so bad idea, but you need to fix some stuff. Like, for example, Bethesda needs to have a good explanation why the Brotherhood are there in West Virginia. Maybe when we get the game, of course. So, I'm really excited to get the game, pretty much. And I don't know if I'm gonna be in the beta or not, but... Luckily I have uh, fixed a computer that can actually run Fallout 76, so that's good. 
But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have fun and enjoy. So, I think I'm gonna do with the machine gun thing, as I said before, and maybe have a samurai sword if I find something similar to a sword or something like that. And basically use throwing tomahawks in the game as my character build, kinda. So my character is gonna be kind of a, what do we say? Eh, basically me, Captain Lawford, with a tomahawk and... Yeah, his background could be that his father was maybe, um... Yeah, I know. He was a person that was basically a soldier, I think, in the American army, you could say. In the, yeah, in the Fallout Universe's army of... What was it? Ah! Operation Anchorage, we could say, and he basically survived. So we are his descendant from Fallout 76, kinda. Or grand 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 kids from that guy. And I'm just thinking up a story here, but... And also that... Eh, it could make sense. I'm trying to think. Hmm. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. So... The father is basically a Japanese samurai descendant person. But fight it in the Operation Anchorage War. Good. That's a good one to have as a background check. Good. And then we have the mother side of our main protagonist from Fallout 76. Which is me. Kinda. That... Hmm... Yeah, she was a woodsman. That's good. Not too complicated, but she was a woodsman before the war. And she did very good trading. And then she got an offer to go into the Vault 76. And she went with our main protagonist, which is me. And yeah, basically the dad and basically kind of my dad and went in and survived the bombs. And then we have me in the game, I suppose. Yeah, I'm trying to make up a story here right now. I'm trying to make a background on my character in Fallout 76, what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make a background for the character when I'm gonna get the game, so... Yeah. But I could have this video as a reference point as well. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. So, these stuff. Thank you very much. Let me see if I can get some more shards. Nope. Dark side level C9. whoop de doo Anyway, I've heard that people are gonna do an um, Aladdin remake with... Or an Aladdin movie in live action. Hmm. I think I've seen a bit of the trailer, but not fully. Hmm. Which one, which one? This one. Okay, out. Put in you, put in you, and definitely put in R2-D2, definitely Obi-Wan Kenobi, you can never go wrong with that guy, and that should be it. And this is the last part of the video, hope you enjoyed the video, have fun time and enjoy. Lock in. Hmm, Mace Window, or Vader, Vader, bye bye father. Ha, huh, fool. He's a tank. Okay, I think it's a good idea to take out Tarkin. Come on, I should have put in a healer. I'm stupid. No. Attack him again. Yes, good, good. Ha, fool. Give me my life back. Burning oil. Hope you enjoy oil. 
slap it a sap. Okay, that's hmm. Hey, take that. Missed. No, damn it. Okay, protect him. Ha! Kanan, come on. Smoke screw. Good, good, good. Very good, yeah. Ha, fool, you died. Okay, time to take out Boba Fett. What the hell? Whoa, that's powerful. Sap you. Give me my life back. Oh, come on. Sapity sap again. No, didn't work. Ah, crap, he's gonna die. Ah, I will take my valuable effort. I will not die without a fight, basically. And I died. Uh, why not? Ah, you win, you lose, you know. Ooh, this looks good. But anyway, that's all. We see you next time. Adventure.